Did you ever do any post-game interviews in a, a terry cloth towel before? Well, so, you know, it's funny. Not, not the robe, but we did have the towel. We did have the towel back in the day. It, the Velcro Terry Club. I got it. I just having a little fun with Stanton, who's back. You know, this is probably a crazy question we're going to ask anyway. You said during the highlights, the Yankees have done it w without these guys, right? So they're getting them back now. You just mentioned D.D. Judge is obviously going to be back soon, mm -hmm. Stanton back. Is there any slight regression because the other guys have done such a great job? Because, you know, these guys, it, their first games are playing here, and it's June. Yeah, I, I don't think you can say regression I, look at are, are they going to come right back into this thing and start going deep and home run and just igniting everything no and and if we have expectations as fans that you know they're going to come in just running and hitting the ball out of the ballpark you know that's unrealistic and it's going to take a while for these guys especially power guys to get their timing i think that's one of the reasons why they went out and inquired Encarnacion. Because Encarnacion can give these guys a break as far as, you know, maybe one day one of the guys gets a rest. The, the brunt of the right-handed power doesn't rest on just, you know, Stanton and, and Judge's sh uh, shoulders. So I think realistically they're going to come. They'll ease their way into it. Where they're going to, you know, impact everybody is that opposing pitcher. The, the intensity that an opposing pitcher will have to have and the focus on every single pitch he throws is going to be, I mean, off the charts. Because if you make a mistake to these guys, you pay. Where you're facing another lineup, all right, you know, I get to that seventh or eighth guy or I get to a certain part of the lineup. You know, not that you can take it off, but, uh, you know, I, I may not have to be in there 120%. This lineup, that's the problem. They may not get you right away, but there are so many guys now, and just just the presence. I mean, those guys dragging the bat up there as a pitcher, you're just going, Uncle. I yeah. Mean, wh wh where's where's the break here? Yeah, I think it's a good point about Encarnacion. Not only you know lengthens that lineup even more, but it also protects when those guys get hurt again, right? And now you add even more depth yep. to the Yankees. Meanwhile, for the Rays, uh, they just had a tough time in the Bronx. We'll get more on that in a second because there is good news here, EK, uh, coming out of Boston. David Ortiz continues to recover from a gunshot wound that he suffered on June 9th in the Dominican Republic. His condition has been upgraded to good, according to a statement made by his wife Tiffany earlier today. Authorities have detained. 11 people in the case. The Attorney General's office in the Dominican expected to release further details on this on Wednesday, but that's good news for Ortiz.